Hi everyone, it's Adam with Milo's Restoration. And today I've got a cabinet painting video for you. And I'm going to start by labeling the cabinet doors with the corresponding number that the painter that I teamed up with gave me. And he's going to do the face frames, I'm going to do the doors and drawers. And so basically he gave me a number and I just wrote it in a cup hole, covered it up with tape, and moved on to cleaning. The cabinets were sprayed with some kind of pledge, so I had to get that off with a naphtha-based product. It's not my favorite, not what I want to use, but it's just necessary in cases where you have something that's going to leave like a waxy residue or something and make it hard to paint if you don't get rid of it. I cleaned them multiple times with Dolan and with this uh, Old Masters product and a little bit of naphtha, and that seemed to get rid of the pledge, but I could, you know, intermittently see a tiny bit of it on there and I'd have to keep wiping it. And then I moved on to sanding. I'm just using my surf prep sander and I'm using oversized pads that are made for a five inch orbital. I just stick them on my surf prep and then I'll switch to a surf prep foam pad for the corners. Unless there's some reason to remove the previous finish, you really just need to scuff sand that previous lacquer or poly or whatever's on there and get it ready to prime. Okay, so if you've been following this channel, you know I love that little cheap Harbor Freight turbine sprayer guns. I bought multiple ones, and I'm going to use that for the BIN, and I'm going to use my Graco turbine. And I've got it outside so it doesn't suck up a bunch of overspray, and also just because it's probably better for cooling purposes out there. So I just started spraying. I didn't thin it with any denatured alcohol. I just spray it straight out of the can. BIN's pretty thin, and it goes well out of a turbine sprayer. I find that a three nozzle works on just about any gun. And that's what I'm using here. So I didn't get as much film as I would have liked, but you know, like I said, I was doing this with another contractor. They were responsible for this. This was their job. So I wanted to make sure I was done quickly, and I was. But yeah, I uh, if you can kind of see from that previous video, I had that drying rack there. So I sprayed one side, flipped them over, waited for it to dry, sprayed the other side. So I did a total of three coats of primer and three coats of paint, and I used the same kind of method, but I used hand sanding during in between coats. I didn't use my power sander, and I just like doing that. Obviously, you know, you're at the point the primer's going to sand easier than sanding a bare wood cabinet, so it's just better for me. I just like using the hand sanding block, and I'll sand that with the flat areas with like a very stiff block and then I'll use that little foam pad to sand the corners. So this is probably my final coat of primer. 
and after I finished that up, I moved on to hand sanding and didn't get any film of that, but this is me using the Graco, it's a Graco Ultimate handheld, and it's Divine White and Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane and Semi-Gloss, and I'm using a 210 tip. And you just want to make sure that the cup is on there tight, because if this gun loses suction, that is this gun's weakness. Once it loses suction, it starts to spray poorly. And also, I recommend that you start and stop off of the workpiece, because this gun might spit, the little guns tend to. So just to make sure, start and stop off the workpiece is probably best. So earlier in the video, you could kind of see that those cabinet racks that I was using, those were the painter's racks and I just used them. He's got them padded to where basically after about an hour or two, whenever this paint has kind of dried a touch, you can go ahead and flip it over and paint the other side. Then I'll wait a few hours and sand it quickly with like a super fine surf prep and recoat it. And I did that three times. And I also had to paint the drawer faces multiple times but I only wanted to do like one or two coats on the inside of the drawers so what I did was I just used a spray shield and you'll see that here shortly so after I finished this up I went and helped the painters do the face frames and they did the spraying and the priming on all of that so I kind of just helped sand and do some other things like that but yeah it's kind of the same process, it's just a little bit harder because obviously you're working in somebody's house and you have to mask everything off, but really the process is very similar. You just need to make sure that you have adequate airflow and that you're very careful with your masking. And here's the finished cabinets and they look good. It's a pretty color and if you're interested in this kind of content, then please subscribe.